Hi guys. Um, so I have my. Well, I guess it's forty-five questions to get to know me, and I pulled forty-five questions off the internet, and here they are. So we're just gonna go through them all. I don't want to go in order because I'm gonna be like, okay, one. No, I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna read some out loud. Okay, as we go through them, I'll mark them off with a sharpie, like the number. Um, I was looking through these. Hike or bike? Um, hike. I like the outdoors. I'll, I'll walk. Go to a play or a musical? Um, <laughs> this is bad for Drama Kid because, honestly, both. But I know how much time and effort goes into making, into doing a musical. So I'm going to have to say musical. Or go to the theater or a movie. See, I, it depends upon what movie. So most likely theater. Um, read on a Kindle or paperback book. Hardback. I hate digital copy of things. I never actually read them. Have a margarita or pina colada? Pina colada. Wear jeans or chinos? Nothing. Underwear? <laughs> Watch Star Wars or Star Trek? Um, Star Wars. I'm not the whole Scotty beam me up thing. You know, I asked my mom what my blood type was once and she said that I was Vulcan. So, that my real father was Spock. Drink a glass of Guinnesses or Fat Tire. I don't know what... I know Guinnesses is beer. I don't know what Fat Tire is. I'm guessing it's also beer, but I'm going to have to go Guinnesses. Crash with friends and or stay in a hotel. I'd honestly rather stay with friends. Unless it's inconvenient, then I'd stay in a hotel. Visit Europe or Mexico. Europe. Um, new Mexico is basically just New Mexico, so... Vacation in Hawaii or Alaska? Why? Why? Um, see, I would have to say, like, can I get, like, a beach place in Alaska? Because that would work. I like the cold, but I love the beach. Go skiing or snowshoeing? I've done snowshoeing, so that's fun. You just walk. You kind of just got these big, like, it's like the big, you know, people put, like, tennis rackets how to explain exactly what they look like and they're fun um travel by plane train or automobile um sometimes plane but i love road trips so automobile enjoy a houseboat or a speedboat i feel like i would enjoy a houseboat go climbing or zip lining oh go climbing the blending ooh. Go to a comedy club or a dance club. Comedy club. Why would I go to a com I love comedies. Have a night out or an evening in. Um, it depends. Honestly, it's like if I'm doing stuff with people or if I'm not doing stuff with people, you know. Watch T V or read a book. Um, honestly watch T V or watch Netflix. I don't really watch T V anymore. Go canoeing or water skiing? Mm, water skiing, I guess. Camp in an RV or stay in a tent? Tent. Use Facebook or Twitter? Um, Twitter. Which I will link down below. Choose a free trip or money? Well, it depends on how much money. Because then I could just take the free trip anyway. With, I could just take the trip anyway with the money. Um, depends upon where the trip is to, I guess. If it was like anywhere I choose, maybe. But it depends upon how much money you would contradict with. 
win the lottery or find your perfect job. Perfect job. Because then you could be making more than you would ever get from the lottery. So in the pool or the ocean? Uh, the ocean. Travel by sailboat or cruise ship? Oh, a cruise ship would be nice. I'm banging these out. I'm on 26 or 45, and it's been five minutes. <laughs> Watch sports or play sports? Oh, watch sports. Play dodgeball or kickball? Um, mat ball, which is kind of like a combination of the two, where you can play kickball and dodgeball at the same time because you get hit with the ball. What is the biggest success up till now? Um, graduating high school, I guess. What does it look like? What does your perfect day look like? Um, a cloudy day where it's not too hot, but it's not too cold. Um, maybe there's a slight wind. There's crunchy leaves on the ground. You know, and then that air has like the overall smell of a uh, rain. I think that's good. I think that explains what my perfect day looks like. Um, university or life experience? Mm, see, I'm going to university, but I don't, I don't know. University, I guess. I wanted to take a year off, but you know, I can't afford that, so. What is one thing that should be taught in school that isn't already? Um, I would, I don't know, like, I really enjoyed my financial literacy class. I feel like everywhere should have a financial literacy class. Because with financial literacy, I actually learned a lot about how to do math for, like, life and how everything works out that way. Like, we went over, like, stocks and, you know, home mortgages and other things like that. It's, yeah. If you were to create a piece of art, what would what would the subject be? Um, my art, per se, is more writing, so the subject is usually romance. Or I have one that's about death, so. What would one thing you change if you had to do it over? I know exactly what I would change, and I would do over, but that's none of you guys' business right now. So, if you can go back in time, which year would you travel to? Um, like 2006? My favorite bat. Yeah, my favorite band was kind of starting in 2000. All time low was starting in 2000. All time low was starting in 2006, and that's kind of when they were first doing the first tours and stuff. So I would love to see like a small go to like one of their small concerts. I think it would be pretty fun. What does your life say about you? What does your life say about you? Um, that's a weird question. What does your life say about you? That I'm lazy but I'm thoughtful. I'm lazy and thoughtful. Sleepy and sad. How would your friends describe you? Probably is really quiet but really caring. Like I feel like maybe that's how. Who would you want with you if you were stranded on a desert island? Um, probably my best friend Isaiah because we can just have a ball over nothing as long as we can take our makeup and have the thing with internet. <laughs> I feel like we would have a blast in a ball and he's so funny sometimes. Okay. If you could do anything you wanted right now, what would it be? If I could do anything... I would 
See, the thing is, if I could do anything, it would most likely be, um, I would graduate college already, go get my master's, graduate my master with my master's degree, start being a sports psychologist, and then working on my PhD for sports psychology. Um, that's mostly it. I guess it's really how I would describe um, what I want right now. It's just to grow up and have work already. If money was no object, what would you do all day? Mm. I would fly places. Tennessee, West Virginia, and California, South Carolina, and Washington. Um, because I have friends in all those states, and I would love to go see them. Um, I would also fly to Wales, because my babe is in Wales. And I don't know if I can do that all day. This might have to be extended for like a week. No, this would have to be extended over a time period of like two months. So for my five people, it would be a week with each of them and then the remaining weeks in Wales. So that would be fun. We're in the last five questions. Just an update. Where do you want... What do you... <laughs> Where do you most want to travel but have never been? Um, Wales. It's really pretty there. I saw some pictures of it. And there was a picture of the underground bouncy castle. Or the underground... Yeah, it's kind of an underground bouncy castle. And, like, trampoline thing they have. It's really cool. I would so want to hang out all day there. What is your favorite memory? Um... My favorite memory... It's kind of a weird, like, a lot of things are my favorite memories. Um, you know, there's ones, my favorite memory, I guess, would have to be the one I can remember the most is when I was turning three. It was, like, the day before my birthday or whatever, and I saw my, um, birthday present being wrapped and it was a watch and I saw that and I was like hey so that's the only one and I was like yeah I saw the watch or um the, another one I can remember is getting a big like a ch big container of gumballs and I chewed like 10 of them at once <laughs> who's your favorite art, art author who's your favorite author Who's my favorite author? Um, I've been really enjoying John Green and, oh my god, what's her name? Gail something. You know, Gail something. I'll, um, she wrote, um, If I Stay and all those kind of books. Um, but I, and J.K. Rowling. Because of Harry Potter books. What is your favorite book? Uh, Looking for Alaska by John Green. What is your favorite activity in gym class? Personally, I think the parachute were a lot of fun. <laughs> I just copied and pasted this off a website and says, Personally, I think the parachutes were a lot of fun. Um, that was really fun, and the little scooters, you know, the little square scooters with the handles you'd sit on, and you'd, like, scoot across the floor, or we did street hockey, in a sense. What has been your biggest challenge? Um, my weight. I think that's pretty much it. So... We got through all 45 questions, and I meant to go in order, but I totally didn't. Or, I wasn't going to go into order, but I totally did. I started at, like, this one. I started... I started at four, and then I, like, jumped down a little bit, and then I went back up, and then went straight down. So, yeah. Those are my 45 questions to get to know me better. Um, I think I'm going to upload 
uh, top 10 favorite video. I have my glam look to upload, so I'll do that. So that's fun. Okay, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoy. Um, as always, hit the thumbs up, subscribe. Check out the information in the description box of all my social media, and I'll be there. Alright, bye.